Today we're going to be looking at Colorado's seven congressional districts and calling each and every one of them before the 2020 presidential election. Um, I've also done the same with New Mexico, and we're, we're going to be calling all 435 House districts before Election Day. So if you'd like to see more of those, uh, please go down to the playlist and you can watch the entire series. Um, each uh, video is going to be roughly a state or several states, depending on how large they are and analyzing which way their congressional districts are going to go and ultimately which party will control the house after the 2020 elections but today's video is going to be focusing solely on the state of colorado so if we go back to the last time colorado had house elections in 2018 the makeup was four democrats and three republicans if we look at the districts individually district three uh, was won by scott tipton by around seven points um, Colorado's 5th and Colorado's 4th went to their Republican incumbents by a safe margin. And if we look on the Democratic side, three safe Democrats in northern Colorado here. And one district that flipped from red to blue. And we're going to be looking at District 6 and District 3 very closely. So we can mark off these other districts here. So we have three safe Democratic districts and two safe Republican districts, which leaves two districts that we're really going to be focusing on, Colorado's 3rd and Colorado's 6th. So first we're going to look at Colorado's 3rd Congressional District. This is this is currently held by Scott Tipton, who lost his primary bid to run for re-election against Laura Boebert, who is a very controversial candidate and is said to have ties to the QAnon uh, movement on the Republican side. So this district seems to fluctuate uh, back and forth between parties. Um, it was previously held by a Democrat before being held by Scott Tipton after the 2010 election and ultimately lost the nomination in the primary. If we look at the rankings for this seat on Wikipedia based on pollings, you'll see a plethora of ranks from safe Republican likely to lean Republican. And apparently the two polls that have come out actually have the Democrat leading Lauren Boebert, um, who is the Republican. So normally a Republican should be favored in this district, but since she is a very controversial candidate, um, it seems like the gap is closing. If we go back to 2016 and quickly look at a Colorado county map for the election, we could see the majority of the counties in uh, Lauren Boebert's district where she's going to be running. Uh, are populated uh, pretty red districts. The ones that are blue counties here um, don't really make much of a difference because the red counties are just much, much redder. And also this district goes into Pueblo and the surrounding counties, which are fairly, fairly, fairly red. Pueblo is more of a swing county, a swing area, and it's not really guaranteed to go either way. But of course, um, Colorado Springs is encompassed by the other district. So this district could be a lot closer than it was even in 2018 based on the candidate. And because of this, and because of the polls I've seen, we're going to rank this district here as leans Republican. Um, I don't really see enough evidence to say that this is going to swing in 2020. However, Lauren Boebert and her controversial uh, political opinions, even in a red district, put the district at jeopardy, in my view, uh, to a, a Democratic challenger. And the Democratic challenger does seem to be pulling ahead in both polls, albeit narrowly. So it'll be interesting to see how the race plays out. But for now, I'm going to be calling this race uh, for District 3 to be staying in Republican hands. Um, district 6 was a district that flipped. Um, if we go back to 2016 for the House elections... Uh, District 6 was uh, won by incumbent Mike Kaufman by less than 8 points or so, which is still a pretty comfortable margin. And, and again, this district uncovers, uh, encompasses Denver and a lot of its suburbs. Um, and in 2018, we see that District 6 flipped pretty massively into the Democratic uh, column here by 12 points. Um, due to the fact that this is a general election environment, I do not think the race is going to be this much of a blowout. However, I'm safe to put District 6 in the likely Democratic column for this election. So Democrats are going to be keeping their gains in the state of Colorado, maintaining four House seats to three House seats, 
for the Republicans. Again, it's very hard for the incumbent party that holds the presidency to win back the House once they lose it. However, as we look at more of these states, I guess we'll really be able to determine how those races are going to go. But however, Democrats are going to keep their gains in Colorado, and none of these seats are going to change. Anyway, if you like this video, if you like this breakdown, uh, please leave a like below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to watch the other playlists with my other prediction videos that range from Senate races and general election predictions and more House predictions. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.